Hey everyone and welcome back to Avatar Frontiers of Pandora. On this video, we're doing the quest, Thanker's Point, Clan Contribution. That can be found at the Thanker's Point Navi Camp, which is in the Upper Plains. Right there. So, let's go ahead and fast travel to the Longing Hand and we'll go northwest from there. Okay, let's go. So the camp should be right around here. Right here. Anchor's point. All right, so we got a basket there, basket there, basket there. We got a quest giver. We're gonna ignore her. You must be our young him. Saren to guest. I have a story for you. All right, we got some wind bent bark. Don't need any food. And we got a sulfur pod, times two. Alrighty, so they are looking for rain thistle fiber of fine or better quality. Now, rain thistles can only be harvested when it's raining. So what we're gonna do is continually pass time until it starts raining here. Now, normally it doesn't take too long. Oh, wait, is it? Is that a light drizzle? Maybe, it looks like, yeah, it's a Strike, light drizzle. All right, perfect. Well, we only had to wait one time. That's pretty awesome. Sometimes it takes a little bit longer, but uh, we got the rain right away. So there's a rain thistle on top of the rock there. And we should be able to climb up this. Might be a little tricky. Looks rather steep, but I think we can manage it. Could have just used Talisi to get up here, but this is more fun. All right, and you can see it is open, ready for harvesting. And just like that, we have our rain thistle fiber. I better watch my word now that a sarin tooth is drawing close. No, the Saren 2 is leaving. Well, thank you, lady. You helped me get... You helped me get my rain thistle fiber. Oh, didn't notice that mural before. Will not hear otherwise. Alright. Throw in our rain thistle fiber. And our quest is the complete. Like Alright, well, with that done, let's go explore a little bit. Uh, from here, we'll go northwest and we'll follow the river. Let's go, Telisi. And right on top of that cliff, you can see that there is a bell sprig. Health permanently increased. All right, from here, we're gonna head northeast Wahoo! and look for a field lab.
think it's right over there. Oh, RDA is mad. But we managed to just narrowly avoid their notice. All right, is this a lab? Yes, it is. Very hidden. Archipelago Field Lab. Don't need ammunition. Don't see any logs. Let's power it up. Generator on top of the building. And there we go. Archipelago Field Lab is powered. All right, from here we'll go east and uh, a little bit south. I don't know, maybe we'll take out that aerial device. I wish they stayed gone, that would be great. But doesn't seem to be the case. But it's in the way, we may as well take it down. Make some more heavy bow shots. It's gone. One shot him. Whoa! All right, we might get a third chopper. Not hearing one. I think we're good. through blow it up and let's bail all right we got a spare part and we're heading right towards another field lab this time it's the sheltered shore lab oh and we have a log Yes, a note. Systems interrogation device development notes. Found in a resistance field lab. I finally updated the title. Sid is the perfect name for this little troublemaker. Sid, I hope you feel this in your bones. Mom would be proud. To do, tweak electronic tracking of currents under metal surfaces, increase ping frequency for radio signals, test updated hacking interface, and adjust grip for better spacing. Unfortunately, due to the Navi sized proportions, I can't really tell if Sid's comfortable for the end user. Alma held it yesterday and seemed mildly impressed, but I get the sense she was hoping for something a little more sophisticated. Bankers can't be choosers, dear Alma. We are working with scraps, after all. Current field tests are promising, but the real fun will start when someone tries it out on RDA technology. Perhaps our new Sodden two friends will show an interest. I did, and I love my Sid. Oh, I forgot to get the uh, spare parts at the last field lab, but whatever. We don't really need them. All right, let's get this powered up, and we'll make sure to get the field, uh, the uh, spare parts this time. All right, sheltered shore lab is powered, and definitely gonna get the parts this time. We go. We'll reload. Maybe this ammo cabinet will give me my like two missing bullets or whatever. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's see. Where's Talisi at? I guess she left. Let's call in Talisi. And we're gonna head this way towards the water. There's that island where the storm glider hangs out. We're not gonna go mess with it. We're gonna head towards the first Zakru, and you can see there's a bell sprig on the left. Go, go, 
Oh, I got glittered. Alright, and our health is permanently increased. Alright, so let's see where we've been. We started off at Thanker's Point. We went over to this Bell Sprig, powered up that field lab, powered up that field lab, and then we got the Bell Sprig right here. So, we do still have that challenge. Gather five forest nectar combs of exquisite rarity. I don't know if we're going to be able to knock that out, but let's at least see where we can potentially get those. If it just says generically in caves, then I don't think it's realistic for us to get those, which it might be. But if it's somewhere else, then maybe we'll go do it. But I first have to find it. Is this it? Forest hive? Yep. Uh, rarer swamp hive nectar is often found in caves throughout the Kingler Forest. Yeah. I don't think... I don't think we're going to find it. Alright, so we'll skip on that. Um, but... Why don't we experiment with some more cooking? We've, as far as I know, we have all these specialty dishes, but we don't have all of the just regular dishes. So I don't know, maybe we'll head back to Thinker's Point, see what we can cook up. I have some nectar on me, and I think nectar's the one ingredient that we really have an experiment with. So let's see what we can make. Oh, and our food pouch is full. We'll just eat some. Maybe the silent remedy. We don't really the need this. Just eat that. Subtle, and let's hammer head bake do again. Forager and bark skin three. I guess we'll keep that. Mushroom stew. We'll eat that. All right. So what can we make? We might need some things with seeds still, too, but let's try a nectar. Maybe a storm glider egg? Yeah, that's unknown. What does this do? Glazed egg with firewalk 2 for 52 minutes. Gain plus 40% resistance to fire. A cooked egg coated in nectar and then fried. The sweetness mixed with the savory works a treat. Okay. So that leaves us with only one more nectar. Maybe with some fatty meats. Mere deer. That is unknown. How's my food pouch full? Oh, I made two. Yep, I made two glazed eggs. I will eat one of them. Actually, we'll just eat both. Where's the other one? Oh, I guess it got dropped. Or no, it didn't. There we go. Okay, so... It looks like nectar and fatty meat. Oh, nope, that's glazed mass. What about with fish? Fr fruit is unknown. Interesting. All right, well, what about with the shell fruit? Oh, actually, it's specifically with a shelter fruit. Interesting. We might have a new specialty dish. Sweetened Nixie. All right, we did find a new... Oh, uh, yeah, it is new. A new specialty dish. Uh, fleet footed for 52 minutes, gain plus 10% movement speed, and fire walk one for 52 minutes, gain plus 35% resistance to fire. A Nixie that will quench a sweet tooth with its dark nectar and fruits. Alright, did that make two? No, that just made one. Okay, well with our remaining ingredients, I don't know if there's anything we can make. We could try a Coronas egg. Oh, Storm Glider egg and Coronas egg is unknown. Let's make that. Put an egg in the egg. 
Extravaganza Egg Fry with Blast Resistance 3 for 60 minutes. Game plus 45% Blast Resistance. When one Egg Fry won't do, just stack two on top of each other. All right. So we discovered some new recipes. That was cool. Especially since one was a specialty. Let's take a look at our list. It grows and grows and grows. And then our regular ones. Look at that. Look at that. Crazy. Alrighty, so with that, we're all done here. So thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.